Today I will be uh, transferring these two okras from this little hydroponics DWC reservoir. DWC is a hydroponics that has a little bubbles. And I'm going to transfer it to buckets using the Kratky system, which means it won't have any more of these bubble bubblers anymore. And I'm going to compare how the, um, the Kratky system works compared with the DWC, which I have all the way in the back. Um, that one has the, an, a bubbler that I put. So I want to see which one works better, which one needs me more fruit, which one can survive the weather here in Texas. So let's see. Now to create a Kratky system, I have these five gallon buckets. I have bucket lids. I have miler back that I'm gonna use to surround the bucket with some of this duct tape. That way, um, light won't be able to penetrate to the bucket and that way the roots are going to be able to survive better i have these um, platforms here with wheels that way i don't have to be pulling this whenever it's raining too bad or something and i can put these buckets under uh, under some roof that way the pollens don't get too wet or the start overflowing the bucket from the top i also have a circular saw drill over here that I'm gonna use to make a hole and then I'm gonna put I'm gonna pretty much transfer the the basket and put it right on top of over here and in case the basket doesn't kind of like fit the hole that I'm going to make I have a hot glue gun that I'm going to be using around the hole that way the basket doesn't fall through so let's get it started all right step one is done I have put mylar sheeting all around this you can use different materials like aluminum foil or you can just get a black um, bucket the main idea is to keep light from coming from the outside inside into this bucket um, also well in this case since we're in east texas it's gonna get really hot inside this bucket so the more sun rays i can get out of here that means the water is gonna be cooler or it's not gonna heat as fast as it if he doesn't didn't have this um, okra don't mind the heat but i might not be always be doing okra on this bucket so i just wanted to uh, try to see how it works i'm gonna be doing the same thing with this other one next step is gonna be to make a hole through the uh, through the cover all right i was able to do the hole but bad news my sheet got ripped so note to self, do the hole first and do the mylar sheeting or the aluminum foil later. That way you don't end up with this. You have to redo everything again. All right, the next step is to fill up the buckets with water. Since I use a five gallon bucket, I kind of put about four gallons of water here. And I'm gonna test the pH of this water to see how it comes out. Uh-huh. I don't know if you can see that, but it says 8.16. That's too alkaline for this water. Let me check the other one. And this is 8.21. So this is way too alkaline for plants in general. So a quick way to do that, if you don't have any kind of pH down solution, you can try to use some white vinegar. I'm gonna try to put two ounces per... Actually, I'm gonna start with one ounce of white vinegar per four gallons to see how much that reduces the pH by. All right, I have my vinegar here. Uh, how much do I have? I think it's one ounce. Then I'm gonna move it. And let's see. Oh wow, that took it all the way to 558, <laughs> which is a little too much on the acidic side, I guess. I would rather keep it on 6. Uh, in that case, I will try for the next bucket half an ounce of vinegar, and that should probably bring it about 6, 6.5, which is where I really want to get into. All 
All right, for the next one, I have a little less than half an ounce of white vinegar. I just don't want to overdo it like in the previous bucket. This one is showing 6.32. Perfect. This is exactly what I need for hydroponics in general. As to how to fix the other one, I'll probably be throwing some of this water and then putting some more water, alkaline water from my um, hose. And that should probably, and eventually, little by little, I'll get it to 6. Point something. All right, I have put some. Use my hot glue gun to put some silicone around this border. And the next step is just to calculate if the roots actually are all submerged, which shouldn't be the case because I need to have like about two or three inches of non submerged root so that one that's the part of the root that can absorb the, the air, the oxygen. So let's see. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna peek over here, and as you can see, yep, there is still um, about two or three inches of root that is outside of the water, which is great. The only thing that worries me is that it's kind of like uh, there is a lot of light in there, which is gonna help with algae growth. If I notice my plants are getting sick, what I will do is I'll have to get me a, a black bucket. That's the only option so far. Next step after this is to put the solution, the nutrient solution in both of these buckets. All right, so I'll be using this uh, nutrient solution called SensiGrow. It's the first one I bought and I'm barely testing it and looks like it's working. So I'm gonna put that over here. So as far as the quantity goes, uh, it's telling me during the growing phase, which is the later phase, I have to use 4 milliliters per liter uh, all weeks during the growth phase. So each gallon has 3.78 liters, which is about 4 liters, I guess, per gallon. There is 4 gallons of water in each of these buckets. So 4 times 4, 16. That's 16 milliliters for one gallon. If we multiply that by 4, because of the 4 gallons, that would be 64. Um, that means, uh, well, since I have to take a, away a little bit, it will be about 60 milliliters for each of these. So I'm going to have to fill up 60 milliliters of part A on this, put it on the bucket, 60 milliliters of part B, put it in there, and then uh, give it a, a shake, and then it should be good to go. Put in 60 milliliters of part A. Ah, oh, that's it came out of. And now part B. Then put in part B, 60 milliliters. I think I need to mix the solution very well. Hopefully this works and I don't have to buy a new bucket, which will be the fastest solution, just get a black bucket. But let's see how this goes. Solution is very well mixed. All right, and I'm gonna get my plant. Let it just sit in there. And it's ready. Now we just have to wait and see if this survives, if it needs a new bucket. The heat shouldn't be a problem for an okra plant, but we'll see. That's all for today so far.